Sri Lanka, an island surrounded by the sea, has one of the highest concentrations of rivers and lakes. Given its landmass, yet, at the News First Centre, we regularly receive reports of people drowning while attempting to swim. Can such incidents be prevented? News First made inquiries. <laughs> Close to 1,000 people die as a result of drowning in Sri Lanka. Last year, about 800 people drowned. At times, youth go swimming in lakes and rivers with absolutely no knowledge of the environment. They do not know the depth. They do not know if there is mud. They do not know if it is dangerous. They just jump into the water and when one person gets stuck in the mud or gets caught in the current, the others try to save him, resulting in their deaths too. The lack of knowledge is the reason for this. There are several factors to consider before getting into the water. You must consider your level of physical fitness. You must know the depth of the body of water you are getting into. You must consider if you are within the sight of other people and whether it is a dangerous location. Some people do not consider any of these factors. It is best to go swimming in areas marked by red and yellow flags because that means there are lifeguards on duty. It is mostly youth that fall victim to drowning. In many instances, we see this happening when a group of youth get into lakes or rivers while on excursions. There have also been reports that some people get into the water while under the influence of alcohol. Most of the time, they go on such journeys without informing their parents. In many instances, the parents only find out after the fact there are many steps that must be taken. Young men especially must realize that the water is not to be toyed with. Uh,